Essentially, when someone wants to accept Islam, we ask him in our language, make sure he understands. Do you denounce all things worship besides Allah? And you've asked him enough about his background to know what kind of thing he has been worshipping, what kind of object of worship he has taken, whether he's Christian, Jew, Buddhist, whatever. So you ask him to denounce that which he previously worshipped along with Allah Ta'ala. If he's an atheist, you ask him to denounce Darwinism or atheism as a system of guidance. You ask him to denounce what he formerly attached himself to with his language. So make it clear from his language that he knows what he's denouncing. And then ask him to testify that none has the right to be worshipped except Allah. No. And if it's not in Arabic, it's acceptable. Some people think it has to be in Arabic. And you feel the person out. If, he, if he's uncomfortable making a testimony in a language he doesn't understand, then accept the shahada from him from his, in his language, the meaning of it. I denounce everything worship besides Allah. And I affirm that Allah is to be worshipped alone. Accept this from him. And you can sense some people are like, you know, they're, they're, they're worried that they're getting into something that's got something hidden in it. And so when you ask them to repeat something in a language they don't understand, they get a little hesitant. Or they're embarrassed. Right? Or they're embarrassed that they can't pronounce it properly or something like that. But rather, when you ask him to denounce what is worship besides Allah, and affirm Allah as the only rightful object of worship, and to affirm the messengership of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they are Muslims at that point, whether they say the Arabic, la ilaha illallah or not. And Allah ta'ala knows best.